Hello everybody, welcome back to the 82 and 0 show. I'm your host Driz. Today we have a very special podcast episode coming right your way. So before we hit that intro music, subscribe if you're new, like all our videos, and sit down, get comfortable, get your popcorn, let's get it. Cue that intro music. Hello and welcome back to the 82 and 0 show. I'm your other host Daniel and today... It's a hip-hop episode. We haven't had one of these in a while, but there has been some massive leaked songs by Kendrick and J. Cole, so we will be covering those today. Yes, so what we will be doing is, at the time of this recording, this is a very recent news. Uh, many people have reacted to it, many people have watched it. Uh, Anthony Fantano gave his thoughts on the new songs. So we want to analyze them, see what it means for future albums, and see if these albums shop what they would do for each of these rappers' legacies. So let's begin. Daniel? Sure, what song do you want to start at? Uh, let's, leave, let's leave the main song for last. Yeah. And let's, let's go. You want to start off with... kind of inspired by him, very similar floats, I think. And I feel like Guilty Conscious is the Eminem title for that. Yeah, I, I, I liked it. Um, we talked about the... Uh, I forgot what his name was. I haven't listened to the song in a while. But he talks about, about a guy in the future in rap. Drugs, I believe. Uh, I don't know your name. Like an Eminem type homage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, it, you know, he uh, Eminem. It, it goes to show. Yeah. Maybe not. It might not have been fully Eminem based, but you know, I got I got some shit. So, yeah. yeah. And also, um, I think that this is out of all the leaked songs. I think that this is the only song that I would really consider a. Uh, Without like just like pure hip hop, not very specific genres, like soul and stuff, you know? Or reggae or that type yeah, of thing. I get it. As we'll see in the other songs. Yeah, I get it, I get it. How do you feel about leaked music in general? Um off the album now that they're just leaked and nothing um i'm not worried about it uh but that means he'd have more to work for on the album i've listened to those songs uh i personally enjoy those are kendrick's it's not like a, a playlist besides like the good kid mad city like it's not something you like put on your playlist right perfect besides like yeah. mad city humble like those are like can't say i put those on that's just my opinion. No, but like those are like hype up songs. Like those people. Yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. But like you have, for example, Guilty Conscious. I liked it. I, I found it was a good song. It's not like something like you put on your playlist or something. Out of all four songs, I think that I'm more likely to put the Guilty Conscious. I know, because it gave out that song shade of throat, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um so so the least music in general though. I at least from my opinion, don't you think that's kind of like annoying cuz it's just taking all this work that you've done and putting it out into the world and you don't get any as an artist as an artist definitely. It must be annoying, yeah. but I'm sure as a listener, especially since when he hasn't uploaded anything since 2017, like yeah, I know, I understand. But as a listener, I'm, I'm happy to see he's, he's doing something. Because Kendrick's not a guy uh, like he's not always on the The last thing he ran, I think he posted it was in March. He doesn't know. It seems like some sort of COVID event. There's no one But he had a lot of teams in the US and he was using the block and spy out the back of the camera. The CEO of Top Dog. Like little teasers, but we never got 
chance that it would be so. I'm honestly self-leaks. Uh, they happen. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna take that guess. I, I. Either way, I'm just glad to see Kendrick's uh, making music. Either way, I'm, the guy who leaked it said that he was his cousin or something. Baby Keen. Or yeah, whoever leaked it on. His cousin. I know. I don't know Kendrick's cousins. I know Baby Keen is supposedly Kendrick's cousin, but that's that's it. Uh, maybe if it had somebody who worked with Kendrick, definitely I would into that. I don't see a guy like Kendrick getting mad. Perfect. Me too. Um, has he said anything Kendrick? about the lease? Has he come out with anything? Uh, right I don't think so. What about J. Cole? Uh, J. Cole, I don't think so. And J. Cole announced that this was his last album. I'm sure he's even more annoyed that the things got leaked. Yeah, that, that would for something. That would be bad. Speaking of J. Cole, you want to give it to Tom Javari? I was just going to do that transition. Horrible lines to make a life out like that. <laughs> so, first of all, the guy who who said uh, Javari, I, first of all, I think that Javari is the album name, and that the song is actually called Isn't it all? I think so. Because there, there are other the songs that are supposedly leaked. The that, I don't know, I think. I thought it was Javari, but I don't know. Anyways, I don't know. just keep it. Yeah, the guy who posted it said that it was featuring Kendrick Lamar, which could be huge, but then if you listen to the song, Kendrick Lamar is nowhere to be found, and everybody's getting mad. I, 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 I got it. Yeah. But, including Drift. Yeah, I, I was, uh, no, I wasn't mad. I was questioned. Yeah, I was like, why, why? I know that you can't really retire, and I'm sure that he'll come back. And the same for, like, Logic, for example, he retired. I'm sure that they'll come back in, like, a few months, three years. But he said, I think, he said his, uh, I remember one of the Instagram posts I saw, it said because he had no inspiration. Right? That's what he said. Um. He also uh, let the world know a couple months back that his NBA dreams were still alive, and uh, De- yeah, the Detroit that's... Pistons tweeted out, "Hey, J. Cole, uh, the spot's still open." Isn't he trying for uh, Charlotte or something? No, no, Pistons. Pistons. Perfect. Perfect. Is he? Yeah. First of all, that is insane. <laughs> that he's going to the NBA. He's not going to take him a tryout. I know. They're giving him a tryout, but 35, I think. <laughs> And I still find that sick that he's getting a uh, try. Definitely sick, definitely sick. Like, imagine being J. Cole and uh, uh, get out. getting a try for the get NBA. Out, get out, get out, get out. Yes. Close Yo, my door. Up, Close it properly. I forgot where I'm at. I just think that it's sick that, like, imagine any team, like, to be an insanely famous rapper and then go, uh, get a tryout in the NBA. Yeah, that's, uh, that's insane. Yeah. Once again. Moving on to, uh, the Kendrick songs. You wanna do, uh, Let's go to SOS. I like, S- SOS is just a nice kind of vibe. Yeah. It, you can tell it's not mixed, but it's like the mix of reggae and just like, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, what do you, because Kendrick has said stuff like, what he said about the music in the past and some of the songs, but like, on SOS or some of the music, uh, what do you think of Kendrick? What do you think of Kendrick? Like, when he literally said, I wish I was somebody, so I could put me myself. Honestly, 
Um, I don't know. This might be singing too much, but the whole song just seems like a cry for help. Because yeah. especially since the title's literally SOS. Yeah, but sometimes like way to be obvious. Yeah, but then there was another one that was talking about uh he says a line i hope my daughter isn't born of the peace of my heartbreak and then he says you know stress carries on your kids that reap and mistakes that you made yeah. and then they see saying uh socializing didn't work for me prayed about it didn't work for me you can't cure this disease uh the pain too traumatic Perfect. traumatic like all of you to sign what's a puppet on stage singing and dancing a blaze like yeah, uh, <laughs> he's crying for help. You're like, that's a good box. Oh, no, no, no. It, it does sound like uh, that. The okay. thing is, how do people, how do people react yeah. to this? How did people react to this? And how would, how are you, yeah, how would Kendrick react to that? Uh, like, for me, being probably very dumb of me to do but it seems like he took a three-year break and he sang in the song how he's like does, tired of the puppet on stage and everything and like and like he's saying how all of this is just so painful then why is he doing it why is he bothering 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 why is he bothering to post to make songs about it if making songs not like he needs the money. I don't think it's a song. That's the thing. Like, uh, I don't so think it's he took music. a break. Okay, so he took a break. I don't know yeah, why. Apparently, he had a build the island of his daughter. Was of albums and those take time those don't like it's not like the baby he's gonna release two albums a year like you know, like he did uh, with, uh, in 2019 no like, those take time to make you're not just gonna make a crappy album like, Jay Cole. i get that but he's, he's saying everything about how the fame is hurting him so take a break go in the shadows like he's been doing this the whole time which is perfectly fine i'm not saying there's anything wrong with it never works for him but he's saying that this isn't working for him and that yeah. I just don't get you why he's speaking come back. Uh, I just don't get why he came back. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just... What, what's your theory? What's your theory? I, I, I don't have a theory. I love Kendrick as an artist. dropped insane song with tons and tons of deep meaning around his forehead. Yeah. Prayer. Yep. Which first of all, 
has one of my favorite instruments. I love that. I just said piano. That, that's one of the things that usually turn me off with Kendrick is his voice and so yeah, when he, not when having it in voice, the song. It would turn a lot of people off, but when you do that voice, yeah. you have like, a great voice. Yeah, but I, I like this version. Yeah, yeah, I like that, I like that version. Good. And he has insanely good lyricism. Yeah. And like such deep meaning behind yeah. it that we think it was, it was an outside of the world. box thinking and the way he like, worded it. What do you, what do you, just give me your opinion on this song. When I was listening to this song the first time, like, every single meaning went completely over my head. I had zero clue about what this was well, about. That's Kendrick for you. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta nice song, it. nice song. No, not, not that I was confused on what it was about, but I just didn't care in my head. I was like, oh yeah, not just a good song. Yeah. And then, like, I'm listening, uh, and reading, and, like, the meaning and everything behind each verse, and it just... I haven't watched it. 
Daniel I A brave heart for Driss is like uh brave heart and movies for Driss is like Kendrick and Song. Ah bro, brave heart is different man. I don't know, I've, I've never seen it. You gotta it. watch it bro. Isn't it about a horse? No. <laughs> I thought it was about a horse. No, 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 no it isn't. It's just, just keep going. I'll watch that one. Yeah, it's a three hour movie. Um, Enjoy. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> was it an endgame shorter? No. <laughs> uh, uh, Endgame was a good movie. No, just, it's not, just we're not Endgame. talking about movies. Come on. But if you want to see that, comment down below. So. Uh, <laughs> and then, no, we haven't talked about it. Just, just go on with it. No, I meant just go on with it. <laughs> so, uh, first two, first two lines are number take five. I'm impressed by your history knowledge, Chris. Yeah, Chief, and that was the same year Michael Jordan was born. That's the only reason. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, there goes my impression. Keep going, keep going. I remember taking my first breath August 28th, 1963. The whole nation had saved the day I made it on TV. My come out as a standing okay, crowd in this movie. How could we say grace without the new thing? I don't, I don't want to make this politi- uh, political. Yeah, I mean, I don't want that's to, not what we're about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope. That's, that's <laughs> one, thing, one thing that I was confused by, I kind of got the gist of the first two verses, but the third verse kind of went over my head. Is that about him? Or, uh, well. Uh, give me a sec. He speaks from the perspective of the lyrics, his history, or harder, or other... Um, let me start with the first few lines. The other one. I was born 
alone in paranoia, it's poison for us. We can't create with joy, it's ambition. We're out of luck, the critics want to be so efficient. I rolled up, run creators are now elated now that and out of touch. Why can't you gladly appreciate the influence we give? Stop staring at me, disgust with my substance. Make sure you know. Deep, deep messages. And then he mentions at the end, see if Daniel Hill was the killer when we all want our hearts. I can't tell you. Uh, if Carl Benz was a racist, we'd stop driving our cars. I can't help you jump in these bodies and call them for God. I can't help you to walk without the voices of art. Another, uh, the two lines question. Wait, wait, wait. I got a question. Daniel Hale. Uh, well, that's what we're doing. Um, X and S. Um, African American cardiologist. Oh, that's who he was. Oh, I did it. Oh, I remember. I remember reading about that. I didn't know it was Daniel Hill, though. I remember reading about uh, something like that. Yeah. Anyways, that was. Well, now we know it. Now we know that Daniel Hill. Daniel Hill was a killer with you all want a heart. Oh! <laughs> now that we know who he is. Ooh, like, like okay. Carl, part of cardiologist. And then Carl Benz. Carl Benz, the guy who invented Mercedes Benz Allison, was a racist when he stopped driving cars. And the guy who invented Mercedes Benz. I'm pretty sure, man. Benz cars. I like... wonder. He's he's pretty narcissistic to name it after him. To be fair. Uh no. Uh, apparently, I read a story. He named it after his daughter, who apparently passed away. Her name is Mercedes. So, so oh, I was gonna say who happened to have it in life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see Kendrick as a top 10 rapper of all time that's your opinion that is my opinion and many people would agree with me now but not all. especially bro you have no say on this <laughs> <laughs> you and Toby have no say on this <laughs> Toby has a say Toby might have a say Toby I think Toby 
it doesn't matter. Uh, it, that's a that's a good episode for another time. I'm not getting started on that, bro. <laughs> it's okay, let, let's do the math. So let's make more sense. Now we're two. Oh, around two. Uh, two. Next one is gonna be in five. Uh, I don't know, man. Let's not uh, let's not guess. It's just uh, whatever works. Hope for he him, hope he's gonna hope course. he's gonna film it. Sad to think that he's done since he's had he's one of my favorite. And what? What album? What what favorite album? Name me the album. (laughs) No, I just said I didn't say one of my favorite albums. Prayer. I mean, 
<laughs> I mean, <laughs> thing is, can can I put the instrumental and then the actual song on the after? Uh, yeah, do it. Probably because I'm putting the instrumental higher than the actual song. <laughs> Uh, I'm giving the instrumental a 10. And I'm giving the song a. Uh, I'm giving the whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, don't do that. But yeah, listen. The lyricism, I love the flow. He, 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 he went on that beat and he didn't like. Yeah, but I'm not saying. I'm not saying quality of song. I'm saying, in my opinion, this is what I like. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because I think, like, guilty conscience and tomorrow is our quality. I mean, honestly. Give me any song. Would you rather listen to, like, say this song? Would you rather listen to Kendrick rap without a beat or just the beat without Kendrick rapping? Exactly my point, because that's the level of the music. But the fact, like, I'd put this out of 10. The lyricism, the flow. That's a high. I don't know many songs that I'd put out of 10. I'm definitely, I'm putting uh, SOS down to 7. Really? Because, so, yeah. yeah, you think it's three parts? <laughs> Is really managing this channel. <laughs> hey, 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 whoa, whoa. Uh, what well, I said, that was work. good, that was good. Yeah, with sarcasm, anyways. Just peace out, guys. <laughs> You're not supposed to say the episode's good before we end it. Go. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe again. Share, share, share. Share. Not the artist. Peace out. The artist. Peace out. The artist.